Sophie replaces Queen Camilla and assumes crucial position beside Princess Kate. The Duchess of Edinburgh was present at the moving remembrance service held at the Cenotaph today. Taking the lead at today's moving remembrance service at the Cenotaph, the Duchess of Edinburgh replaced the Queen, who was unable to attend due to a chest ailment. At the annual celebration, Members of the royal family stand on the foreign office balcony in order of precedence. However, because of the queen's illness, this year's order appeared somewhat different. Princess Kate was in the spotlight, with Sophie standing next to her. This is her fifth public appearance this year since her cancer struggle. Standing motionless for the two-minute pause, the two women appeared serious as they observed the remembrance service taking place below. The 59-year-old, whose standing inside the firm has grown dramatically in recent years, dazzled in a stylish black ensemble and a poppy brooch. Sophie maintained her poise while joining the King, Princess Anne, Prince and Princess of Wales, and other senior royals on Sunday, looking the picture of refinement. Sophie made an appearance at the service last year wearing a black coat dress that was designed by Susanna London and was made from recyclable materials. Sophie's blonde hair was brushed into a low chignon, and she wore a little boater hat. Sophie wore minimal makeup, but she chose a delicate blush and a dramatic eye look. Although it was reported that Queen Camilla was unhappy not to attend the Remembrance festivities this weekend, she intends to return to her royal duties this week. Only a few days prior, Sophie participated in a mini-golf tournament in Windsor earlier this week. She is now attending today's service. Sophie was struck in the face by a ball she had struck herself, ruining the enjoyable activity. In images captured by photographer Tim Rook, the princess was seen flinching as the ball sailed in her direction. Sophie was in Legoland as the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children's NSPCC patron.